I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see But you showed me how to believe Still gets me Welcome back dreamers. I'm Kira and this is Homestead Dreaming. So I have been working on cleaning out my garage. Um, and by cleaning out, I mean just like organizing it really. And um, trying to figure out a permanent spot for the quail. And I've cleared out a space here in my garage, just the way that I cleared out a space for my chickens. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build them a little enclosure here um, and have it so that they can have access to the outside via a tunnel where those bricks are. So it is the next day. We've decided to change the plans just a little bit. And so um, to make it a little bit more strengthy, strengthy, strength, no, not, to make it a little bit more sturdy, um, we decided to use some of the um, two by four studs. Is that what they're called? Yes. Uh, the two by four studs that we already had and um, instead of the furring strips for the end pieces. We're still gonna use furring strips, um, but it's gonna be a little bit different than what I originally showed at the beginning of the video and you're about to see. Drill is being funny. <laughs> and it broke. Oh my gosh. Yep, broke right off. But it's stuck in there together, so. So it's the next day. We're gonna finish up the quail enclosure today and get them moved over. Here's what we've got so far. So I managed to get it all built. Steven helped me so much to get this done. Um, I got all of it wired. I went ahead and made the doors and I have them on hinges and they come up like this. I decided to do two doors rather than one just because um, I figured it'd be easier for me to handle two doors since it's so long. Uh, <laughs> and then of course I had just enough hinges to do both of them and then when I went to do this one I dropped the hinge and it fell between the stud and the wall and I can't get it back out so now I have to go and get another hinge for this last door. So now it's time to decorate the quail habitat. Um, I've gone around the house and around the yard and gathered um, little things that they can hide under, get on top of, just little things that I feel would make great little hidey holes and um, decor for their habitat. 
tried to find things that I'm not using anymore that I thought would be great for their habitat. decorated this quail habitat. I found this garland of Christmas lights. Um, it's got, it's not real, so I, I put it up um, out of reach of their little beaks so that they can't accidentally eat this, but it's lit, so um, maybe give them a little extra light in the mornings and in the evenings until the sun comes back. Looks like it's about time to add some quail. What do you think? two escapees. Everybody is in the quail coop. Um, there's 19 of them. King is literally on the other side of this wall just talking up a stone. So um, it'll be nice to have them all in the same space because look right around this corner. <laughs> and then right around this corner. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> As the quail expand, um, the goal is to expand this habitat uh, and have it go the length of the wall. Um, and it probably won't be all together, it'll probably be two separate areas where these older ones stay in this, um, this original one and then newer ones will stay in the next one. Um, so thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to be updated on future quail videos, future chicken videos, um, just all of that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope you guys keep dreaming. <laughs>